Hi everybody, my name is Lars Christensen and let's do a quick care tip. This week we're going to talk about three free programs that you can use for maintenance on your computer. Just making like your CAD workstation all happy and in shape. So if you're like me, where it's kind of like your responsibility to keep sure that your machine is kind of like working and not having any kind of hiccups, I think you will find this helpful. Now I put the links for these programs down in the description area, so definitely check those out. And as always, I love your comments. So if you have anything to add to this or anything, other programs you think would be fit, I would love to see those down in the comment area. Now the first program we're going to talk about is called C Cleaner. And it'll been around for a while, but I think I'm going to show you a tip you might not know about that program. But first, why I recommend using that program? Well, it's called C Cleaner. It will clean up your workstation. But I actually had a special case one time where I was trying to help this guy installing his CAD software on his machine and I couldn't get it to work. I mean, it kept on just coming up with errors after errors. And it was really to the point where I was, I had gone through my entire list of what could cause this. And I was ready to tell the guy over the phone that, sorry man, you have to reinstall Windows. And asking a guy reinstalling Windows is pretty much like telling them they owe taxes, right? Now the guy said, well, I've heard about this program called C Cleaner. I think I'm gonna run that first. And I was like, yeah, well, why not, right? We are at the end of the road. And of course he ran that and his CAD software just installed. So that's why I'm a big fan. Now there's kind of like two stages to it. So let's just take a quick look at how it looks on the monitor here. Now you have the cleaner and uh, if you click that button then it will go through and clean out like your recycle bin and your temporary internet files and all that good stuff. Now the second one is called the registry button and the registry is where CAD developers will save like your user settings, you know, if you customize your interface or serial numbers and, and things like that and they have a tendency to just kind of like throw things in there left and right that maybe or may not really do much for, for you. So what you can do if you click on this, it will analyze, of course, your registry and it gives you an option actually to save out a copy of your registry. So you can, if something went wrong, you can actually reinsert it again. Uh, I normally say no, and that's probably just a bad habit on my end. But what you will see here is that I actually have, well, I have a lot of messed up links inside of my registry file. So I can just click here and it just cleans it all up. Now what you might not know about this is you can actually hit that button again and it will run the same algorithms on your registry and it will actually find more. So you might end up actually have to click this registry button a couple of times before you have cleaned out your entire registry. So that's a pretty, pretty neat trick. Now a few weeks ago I decided to go through some of the programs that I've installed on my machine and uninstall some of the things I didn't use. And you're probably familiar with this, you go into your uninstall program area, you find the one you want. Well, something went wrong when I tried to uninstall it, so I don't know what, but I ended up having part of the program still stuck um, in my computer and actually inside this list you uh, will actually see that it was still appearing, but it didn't work. Now Windows back I think in like 2000 came up with this program called Windows Installer Cleanup and it's really not supported by Windows anymore but it's still homing around out on the uh, internet and you can go and download it and it's a sweet little program you just quickly install it uh, again the link is down in the description area and it will it cleans this right up and you were just done so that's a pretty neat little program to keep handy too now the third free program that I recommend that you keep close by again the link down in the description area is called Windows Directory Statistics at least that's what I think it stands for Windeer Stat and that's also a quite little small program you can download it's really only useful when you get to this area here so clearly somebody petitioned this hard drive without knowing that I was going to install all this massive big CAD programs that I run and I re regularly run out of space on it. That's where this Windeer Stat is a really neat program. What it will do is it will go in and analyze with these small Pac-Mans, which is kind of funny, your drive and it will find where everything is kind of like located and it gives you like this neat graph down here with boxes showing you the sizes and then you can kind of like just go through find out you know what is taking up most space and some of the stuff you might need but some of the stuff like temporary files or other hidden things that you maybe don't use you can pull right out of here and from right here you can actually just delete it right out by right clicking so it's a pretty neat program so i hope you found this helpful that was three free that's hard for me to say programs for you to keep your cad machine up top notch 
If you love this stuff, I would love if you would hit the subscribe button as always. And also, if you have any suggestions of other programs or any comments, love if you would take the time to put them down in the comments area. I know I will read them all and it's really just a good place for us to share, you know, these kind of tips and tricks on how to keep our machines up and running. So until next time, hope you have an awesome day. Thank you.